हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दी वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन हाउ टू प्रोग्राम टू ब्लिंक अ सिंगल एल ई डी विच इज कनेक्टेड टू दी पोर्ट पिन टू पॉइंट थ्री सो लेट अस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिक हाउ टू राइट द प्रोग्राम इन एम्बेडेड सी एंड देन वी विल सी द आउटपुट ऑन दी प्रोटेस सॉफ्टवेयर सो द फर्स्ट लाइन वेन एवर यू राइट एनी एम्बेडेड सी प्रोग्राम शुड बी हैश इंक्लूड आर ई जी फिफ्टी वन डॉट एच बिकॉज द फाइल आर ई जी फिफ्टी वन डॉट एच इट इज अ लाइब्ररी फाइल एंड इट कंटेन्स द डेफिनेशन ऑफ ऑल द स्पेशल फंक्शन रजिस्टर दैट इज द एस एफ आर एंड देअर बिट्स फॉर एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सो फर्स्ट यू हैव टू इंक्लूड दिस लाइब्ररी फाइल आर ई जी फिफ्टी वन डॉट एच न हियर वी आर डीलिंग विथ अ सिंगल पोर्ट पिन टू पॉइंट थ्री एंड देअर फोर टू डिक्लेयर दैट पर्टिक्युलर पोर्ट पिन You have to use the data type S bit, which I have already explained in my previous video. So S bit gives some name that is a LED is equal to P two point three. Then you remember that this declaration must be done before your main function. Then here uh, for blinking the LED, I want to make it on and off, and therefore I need to add some delay. So here I have written a delay function. so void delay ms delay ms is the name of the function and this is what is a parameter that is pass so data type of the parameter and the value will be stored in the ms count then uh, i have used here for two for loops so i is equal to 0 to less than ms count i plus plus and j is equal to 0 to j less than 113 j plus plus so actually this 113 value Uh, will give me the approximate delay of one milliseconds. So now here I am going to generate a delay of five hundred milliseconds. Then I have started writing the main program. So actually I want this action continuously. So I have used a while one loop. So in in while one I have written LED is equal to tilt LED. So that means tilt means you are going to toggle it continuously. so the meaning of toggling means you are making it 0 and 1 0 and 1 continuously with some delay and after that i have called the uh, delay function so delay ms 500 so here i am generating a 500 milliseconds delay so when this function is called then this 500 value will be copied into the ms count and my outer loop will run from 0 to 500 and the inner loop will uh, run from 0 to 113 so total time generated will be approximately equal to 500 milliseconds so this is what is a simple program uh, to blink a single led which is connected to the port pin 2.3 now if you want to change the port pin then you simply make a change over here so instead of writing 2.3 you write the pin number uh, of that particular pin now once you write the program then you save it and build it to check for any error so no zero error zero warning now whenever you want to check the output in the proteus software actually we need a hex file so for that first you uh, go to the target one uh, right click on target one and select option for target target one now here in this window you can see there is an output section so click on it and there is one check box called as a create hex file so you have to select this box for creating a hex file of any program and then click on okay and then again uh, build your program then here you can see it will create a hex file so there is a message in the build output window creating hex file from dot slash object slash your project name so this is how you can generate a uh, hex file which is important and necessary because now we are going to import this hex file in a proteus software now let us go to the proteus so here i have already drawn uh, the diagram for a single led as here we are dealing with port pin 2.3 i have connected the led along with the uh, series register uh, 100 ohms and i have given one supply and the cathode terminal of the led is connected to the port pin 2.3 Now here you want to uh, import that uh, hex file. So for that purpose, you double click on this controller, and here on the program file, here you can uh, browse it for the path of that particular hex file. So in the object uh, module, I will get the hex file. So here you can see the bling dot hex file is there. So just select that file and click on OK. 
and now simply click on this run button to run the output so see you can see clearly that my LED is blinking continuously with the 500 milliseconds of video. Now here uh, you can see that uh, if you want to stop it then just click on this button. Uh, initially I have written LED so the initial position of the LED that means all ports are, are input port and having a value is equal to 1. So initially the 1 value will be given to the port. So initially my LED will be in the off condition but when you tilt it that means when you make it 0 then this 5 volt and the ground will make the LED on and this action will be continuously repeated and you will get the final output that is a continuous blinking of a single LED. Uh, so how to take all these components on Proteus and how to draw the schematic diagram so I will make a separate video for that. So this is for all uh, for this video. So if you like my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share this video with your friends. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.